Well, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. It's early spring, so a lot of wild, edible, and medicinal plants haven't really started growing yet, but evergreen trees never really stop. And here's one that's edible and medicinal, Western Hemlock. Western Hemlock, scientific name, Suga heterophylla. The heterophylla means variable leaves. I'll show some more about that later. It is a wet forest or wet forest and shade tolerant tree that grows from sea level, between sea level and middle elevations from Alaska to California. And it likes to grow or typically grows in the shade of other large conifers or around dead or rotting logs, sometimes on them or out of them. And one thing that's distinctive about it is at the top, see how the main stem goes up? At the top, it droops. I think you can see it there. And over here, how the stem goes up straight, and at the top, it kind of flops over to the side. Young western hemlock bark is described as russet brown to dark grayish brown. And if you're like me, you might have been confused by the description of russet brown. Well, russet brown is a dark brown color with a reddish orange tinge. Or for me, because I have trouble with those colors, red, green, and brown, I would describe it as brown. As western hemlock bark gets older, it develops furrows and is thick and scaly. I have seen it described as dark orange streaked with purple or reddish brown. Now, I don't uh, particularly see those colors in here. Maybe you guys do. I'm not sure uh, what how I would describe it would be brown or maybe gray but mostly brown so if you're like me and it can be hard to rely on colors to positively identify species i look for other spe other features like here these are growing these western hemlock are growing in the shade of other large conifers if you look at the top you can see the main leaders are droopy to the side and if you look at the needles from a distance they look kind of feathery and as you come in closer you can see, hopefully, that the needles are highly variable, and that's uh, the name heterophylla, I guess is where it comes from. You can see they're not all the same length. They range between a quarter inch to three quarter inch, and they are arranged randomly around the stem. You can see they come out from all different sorts of angles. They're very soft, droopy, soft to the touch. they like, not spiky at all, and... Also, on the underside of the needles, you can see there are two white bands that run the length of the needles. A full-grown western hemlock can get up to about 165 feet or maybe 50 meters tall and parts of it are edible. The inner bark was a staple of some indigenous people in BC. It was scraped from the trunk and baked or steamed, and it could be eaten raw in, say, in an emergency, but it's hard to digest. The French fresh branch tips have been combined with maple sap and eaten, and the leaves and branch tips were sometimes eaten to relieve hunger while in the woods without food. So, these aren't, well, hmm, well, kind of sweet and kind of tastes like what you think it might taste like, a little bitter and uh, kind of like a tree. Now, a word of warning, do not eat evergreen needles or drink evergreen tea with in high concentrations or with great frequency. With that being said, there are some medicinal uses for western hemlock. The bark has been used to make a tea which is astringent and can stop internal bleeding and relieve diarrhea. The pitch can be applied to wounds to prevent infection and speed healing. And the spring tips can be eaten fresh or used to make a tea which is high in vitamin C. Just one more thing I'll say about western hemlock. It's super soft, and so it and it can be really good for maybe sleeping on. 
Anyways, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.